So we are debuting the TL Sport Aircraft Sparker. This is an aircraft that has been in development uh, at TL for close to four years. We introduced our first version of this aircraft is the Stream. It's a tandem, uh, tandem seat version of the Sparker back in 2015 and released this aircraft in 2022 and we have been greatly anticipating the release of it here in the U.S. and it's, it's, that day has finally arrived. So the TL Sparker is, uh, is quite a unique aircraft. It is nicely positioned between uh, the UL uh, in Europe and what we call the LSA category here in, in the U.S. and the GA market. Uh, weight wise, gross weight, it comes in almost roughly between a, uh, a light sport and a Cirrus aircraft. This is a high performance uh, airship with Retrax and a Rotax uh, Turbo 916 engine. Um, as you can see behind me, the cockpit, um, I'm sure as you'll see in a moment here, has, uh, is well appointed. Three 10 inch G3X screens. It has the option for a GTN 650 a GTN 750, or for those that just want R, an RNAV a navigator, you can put a 355 in it. Uh, aircraft comes with heated leather seats, USB power, uh, iPhone and iPad holders in, embedded in that pop out of the, of the panel, uh, cup holders that pop out of the panel. This aircraft is, is truly loaded. Uh, we built this aircraft as a high-end luxury cruiser that will go places at speeds up to 175 knots with comfort, with true comfort. Not, you know, a lot of the LSA category aircraft were, were tighter, uh, not able to, to have the, the fit and finish, the luxury fit and finish in the space that this, this aircraft provides due to the weight restrictions. Uh, and, and that's why we created this plane. It, it handles more like a GA aircraft, like a Cirrus, in that it, it flies as if it's on a rail, uh, but it's much more precise and stabilized than a traditional LSA aircraft. So let's talk about some of the performance numbers with the TL Sparker. So as you see it here, uh, it is equipped with a 915 in this demo model. Uh, we now install the Rotax 916. However, for folks that aren't after the speed or altitude that a turbo provides, you can go with a 100 horsepower uh, Rotax, like a 912 ULS or a 912 IS or an edge modified uh, like a, a 915 ECI uh, with 120 horsepower. Uh, for those that want a little more fuel efficiency, don't need the height and the speed, but yet want the range and the luxury that the Sparker provides. As equipped with a 916 IS, you're gonna see climb rates of, of about 22 to 2400 feet per minute. It's quite spicy. You're gonna see cruise speeds up to 175 knots and a fuel burn on average about 7.5 to 8 gallons an hour in fast cruise. So another uh, great attribute of the Sparker is the, is the gross weight and, the, and hence the useful load. So it has a gross weight of 1653 pounds. If you go with a, a Rotex 912 ULS, a 100 horse option, you're looking at about a, a useful load of 750 pounds. If you go with a turbo option, you're looking at a 650 to 670 uh, useful load. And, it, and at that useful load you can have two 200 pound pilots, full baggage and full fuel, so no compromise. So another great feature of the Sparker is the luggage space and it's really one of the, the, the biggest selling points of this model. It has a 24 cubic foot luggage area behind the seats. So that's not to be underestimated. You can fit seven carry-on bags, full size what you'd fit in a commercial airliner, full size, seven carry-on bags will fit in this luggage compartment. You can put two golf bags in the back. We, we have an adaptation where two tubes are installed on either side of the ballistic chute. We'll get into that in a minute. And that will allow you to put longer objects that are not terribly heavy into the chute, such as a golf bag, a, set, a pair of skis, a snowboard. We have 34, and, and speaking again about traveling destinations, having the toys, right now we have 34 and a half a gallon capacity for about a range with a turbo of about six to seven hundred miles. So as, as many of your viewers may know, the Sparker is well positioned to, to fit into the coming mosaic category, but currently is offered as an experimental amateur built aircraft or an experimental exhibition. Uh, most of our, our customers currently are going with the EAB route. The Sparker has right now about a five, five to five and a half month uh, turnaround time from order 
to completion, and then we'll, sh we'll ship it into the country. Rolled into that is an accelerated build program uh, for the customers where we'll send the customer to the factory uh, to, run, to run through the program with us, at which time you'll work on the engine, the avionics, landing gear. Yeah, this allows customers uh, to learn the intimate details of their aircraft. Now, we suspect also once, once, the, once the Sparker slides into the Mosaic category, that we will still have uh, customers and pilots that want to have an experimental aircraft for the freedom that that provides. So our accelerated build program for the Sparker is actually built into the manufacturing process. So we'll send customers to the factory at a key time uh, and final assembly where all the components come together and they have easy and quick access to pull all the pieces together. Sparker comes in at several uh, price points. Starts off with the naturally aspirated Rotax engines for about $327,000. It's in the 380s if you go with the turbo option on the Rotax. Or, and it climbs from there. You can add IFR instrumentation and uh, amenities and features such as oxygen from i3. Uh, you can put additional, um, uh, like I said, luggage and storage capacity in the back. Uh, fully loaded, an aircraft that's fully loaded with oxygen, a, six, a GTN 650, a 916 or an Edge Performance uh, 918 engine, you're going you're gonna to be around 415 to 425,000. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about the TL Sparker, you can go to our webpage at www.tlsportaircraft.com or the manufacturer's site at tl-ultralight.cz.